Hey everyone, so I have a little bit of sad news. I recorded two days worth of Animal Crossing and the video and audio was corrupted. So sadly I did lose the um, stuff that you guys can watch. So I'm just going to kind of go through and explain all that I've built up until this point so that way you guys are caught up and I don't have to try to like recreate anything and it is a bummer that I lost it but uh, I think it will be just as easy to show you guys what we've done so far so um, to start off I did add to this beach area a little bit I've decided to just make this beach basically my home because it's like the it's easiest place to reach plus it's like right off the um, airport so it's pretty easy to um, get to. So what I did over here was I wanted a place to put all my DIYs that I no longer need. So I just set up this little area here and I have like a little barrel and a couple stalls and I think that's uh, pretty cool. And so I put, also put like a little fencing behind it. And then I um, put a trash can and I'm doing a little test to see if flowers can grow on sand. I do not think they can. It hasn't grown at all. Also, um, I am waiting to get the upgraded DIY bench, like the one that I've put right next to Nook's Cranny that looks like a, that isn't the stump. It's like the, the upgrade from the stump is what I'm trying to find the DIY for because I'd like to put one out here to put next to my little tool bench area here. Um, I didn't know where to put these iron stuff and um, I know how popular they are, like I really like the iron stuff so I wanted to find a dedicated place for it so I just, I put it out here. And um, let's see what else. I used up the rest of my stone fencing to put this here so that way I know that I want to put another house here but I've run out of stone. Like I've used all my stone material so um, I've been slowly trying to like gather up more stone so I can make more fencing and kind of fill this out a little bit more. And oh, I made a little art installation because I d just had these sitting on the beach, like in the leaf form. I just dropped them on the beach, but I do want to use them in the island somehow. Like I I've placed a few of them around the island and stuff. So I just kind of put them all in one spot for now. I'm going to dig up these fossils as I talk. <laughs> all right. So what I also did was I worked on this campsite area. Um, I wanted to ha find a dedicated place to do the campsite, but I wasn't sure exactly where to put it. So I just chose here and I made it to where you can access the beach, but also fish in the river. And then um, this isn't going to be the um, exact way that I'm going to um, keep the campsite because I would like to place some places to sit around the bonfire because I think that'd be really cute and I may add a few more things in the future but this is what it looks like for now and um here's the fun part I added a porta potty back here I want to add like a changing booth or another porta potty back here so this isn't the only thing sitting here but it's, it's good enough for now um I haven't done anything else to this side of the island but I did plant a few trees so hopefully that helps. They're cherry trees. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to run this away a little bit. Um, oh, I also went around. Oh, I'm going to have to talk to LaBelle later. But um, I organized my stuff a little bit and placed them around on the island about where I want to like put them down later whenever I get to designing my entire island. 
this is items for um, the front entrance area so it's like seating there's a couple of gas pumps there's like the snack machines stuff like that so that way I can make like a little entrance area I think that'd be really cute uh, let's see also um, I've started planting flowers um, I have a few um, complete sets of seeds for specific flowers so there's like the roses the um, I don't even remember all the flowers that I planted. I plant I just planted a few so that way I can start getting some of the hybrid flowers. Um, so I basically kind of set them up kind of like in this formation. So there's like the red on the inside and then the yellow and then the whites on the outside. So that way I can start getting like the pinks, the oranges, the maybe blacks. I know some of them have black flowers. But um, I did set up this area and also this area for some of the flowers. As you can tell, I planted a lot. <laughs> um, I just want to try to get some of the basic flowers and then whenever I get more seeds I can add on to it basically. Um, let's see. I haven't really done much up here. I did get another lighthouse. So now my island has two lighthouses, which is pretty cool. Um, my I did have one lighthouse, which is the white one from my last island, and then this island has the white and black one. So I just decided to put both of them here. I thought it was pretty cute. And then, uh, oh, there is one other thing that I kind of worked on. I'm just going to run to real quick. Oh yeah, this is an area for like a playground that I'd eventually, eventually like to do. And then, if you run over here, this is kind of a two for one thing. I made this little dinosaur diorama. I had a bunch of these like cardboard cutout items. So there's like a couple mountains, a bush, a dinosaur, a grass, and a tree. I wasn't sure where to put the tree, so it's it's there. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that would be kind of cute to have like next to the museum. And then if you look in the top left corner, you'll see a fenced area. It's a cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> See, um, these are cherry trees. I kind of took the cherries out of them for now. But um, this is just a little cemetery I'm working on. Um, whenever I do get more stones, I would like to make some more of these. I think it's like a western style stone. I think that's what it's called. But um, I'd like to add some more of those in there. That'd be really cute. I also see this. I'm gonna dig it up. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I've worked on. I also have a bridge that I put down over here that is completely built now. And yeah, there it is. And um, over here I would like to do a zen area. Because there's just this dedicated spot. There's not much room over here and I don't- Oh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, that was my cats if you could hear that. Wow. But okay, as I was saying, this area doesn't have much room, so I just wanted to do a dedicated zen area, and there goes my cats again. Excuse me, sir. Walk away. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I swear, I can't have them anywhere. Yeah, I'd like to just do a zen area over here. And so, um, what I thought I could do today is, um, I, for the right side of the island yeah so it's the right side of the island I'm gonna walk over there real quick to point out which side of the island I'm talking about so it's across this hold on do I have yeah I do have my pole the side of the island is kind of bare and I would very much like to be able to get to it but I tested this out and no bridge can fit this part, like this little river. Like the, the river is too small for a bridge to fit. So I'm going to try to find a good spot to place an incline so that way we can still get to this. And I also plan on working on one section like decorating it. Probably the zen side because um, that seems like the easiest to do. So I'm just going to zoom down here and then get an incline from Tom Nook. Hopefully I have enough money for it, I'm not quite sure. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. 
Oh, look at them. So cute. Okay, let's see. I've been using the um, wood in pine. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. Uh oh yeah, he wants us to do a um ceremony. I might as well do that real quick. So let's hold a ceremony. And then I'll get the incline and then we can start decorating an area. Oh, look how cute this is. I'm gonna be taking a few photos of this. <laughs> I look like a hick, but a good hick. <laughs> good for us. So cute. I love Isabella. Uh, Isabella's little outfit. Alright. So now we need the incline. I think I'm gonna put it close to where the fruit trees are. I just need to find a good spot over there to put it, essentially. Okay, so uh, the wood, the log staircase is the one that I've been generally using, so I might as well continue that. Okay, so let's see. Um, I may have to move around a few trees to really get that in the way that I want it to look. So hard. Uh, do I have? Yeah, I have a shovel and an axe and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I'll probably just move around a few things to really get that set up like the way that I want it to look. Because eventually I would like to put like a tiny pond in this little area so it'd be like a little park area. I think that'd be really cute. But let's see. I could put it like right here but then it'll be running into the waterfall. And I don't really want to like obstruct any of the waterfalls since I don't really want to terraform a good majority of this island. So what I could do is, since I do have a clearing here, I could move these two trees and just have it going up that away. Let's try that. I'm gonna pick these fruit and eat two of them. Hopefully these will be the only two that I have to move. Okay, good. Um, this does look like a fairly flat spot right there, so I should be good. Whoops. I swear, digging is an art form because you can never dig in the spot that you want to. It always takes a couple tries. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can get directly in the middle. 
of this. I need to back up slightly. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go over one. Oh. Okay, let me go forward a little. Okay, uh, show me what it looks like. Oh, it's gonna take out one of the trees. Mm. Okay, I can I can replant the tree basically. That'll be fine. Okay, it was an orange tree, so I might as well pick up these oranges. Then I'm gonna replant the ones that I picked up. Uh, I think one. Uh, I don't think I can get it right next to that. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna dig up this orange tree. No, did not mean to drop it. Because eventually I would like to make like a little pathway through the area that I just walked through. And I feel like this orange tree would be in the way. So like it would be really cute to make like a pathway through here. Maybe like a little pond or something. I don't know if this is big enough to do that, but we can try. <laughs> so let's see. Uh oh, do we have it do we even have any more room for trees? Not really. I mean one could maybe fit here, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's... I might as well just plant one right here. Then I have a pear tree. Might as well plant it here. And then if we need to get rid of some more trees, we can dig them back up and sell them. Oh, I have- I literally have just enough money. <laughs> wow, that's kind of impressive. Now I'm gonna be broke. No, um, I think this is the last one that I need because I can't terraform yet, so I can't really place any other ones until I've ter terraformed the way that I want it. Because it'll be kind of cool to get like a little incline uh, next to the secret beach, but there's not enough room there at the moment for me to place one. So, all right, um, that's gonna be built. So I might as well go sell the extra fruit. Also the extra cherries, I don't need the cherries. I dug those up, or I, I got all the cherries um, in one of the previous episodes that I lost because I was trying to get a bunch of um, wood and stuff because I also have run out of wood, wood materials. I don't know why I'm going to the house. I meant to go to the shop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I might as well- I don't really need them at the moment. I can always pick more. Oh, let's see what's for sale. Let's see, um, I don't need the door plate or the shower or- I don't really need the- anything. I don't think I have anything that will, like, fit what I need. Let's see. Oh, that's not even much. <laughs> I'm broke again. This is a sad day. Okay. So, uh, let's see, I don't- oh wait, there is one more area I can show you guys that I haven't shown you yet. So it's the secret beach. I added a few things to the secret beach. So I'm just gonna run up there and show you guys what it looks like. So 
So I added a little treasure chest, a barrel, and a boat. So I don't know if I want to leave the treasure chest facing that way, but until I get a better idea, I may look around online and see what kind of um, secret beaches other people have done. Because I've seen a lot of creative things. Like, um, one thing I definitely want to do is make this like a little boardwalk area that leads to the secret beach and then I have like a um, incline that leads down to it. I think that'd be really cute. But um, for now, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with a couple of areas that I already have planned out. And um, I will continue working on those in the next episode. So I will see you guys then. Thank you all for watching this latest episode of Animal Crossing. I will definitely be posting more of this in the future, so if you are interested in seeing when I next post, follow me on Twitter and on Reddit, and then you can also like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and push the bell notification to be notified of when I post in the future. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the future.